All right, this is going to be about fixing my power pole on a Triton 240 LTS bay boat. Best thing ever bought, besides everything else on the boat. And a 250 Verado Bob's Jack Fleet Versa Jack power pole brackets. But the issue came when this broke. I'm not close to I can get to it, but I was out one day and I put the power poles down. I say plural because I do have another one. And the boat kept spinning on the front. I'm like, what's going on? After three times, I came back and looked. Stood back on the transom, looked up and saw this was broken. I'm thinking. And I don't typically put torque on these things when they're down because we know when you put them both down and the front end can spin left or right, it will put a lot of torque on this. So it looks like the rod would have torqued this way, the spike. And I don't ever remember doing any of that. So either way, called power pole and talked to them. And right away they sent the parts out. I called on... Uh, it happened on, I think, Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. I called Monday, and they sent the parts out. I got them on Wednesday. So, pretty damn good. So, again, power pole, are great. They're eight-foot blades. And I uh, freaking love them. And everybody knows, like a lot of things you buy for fishing, they're a lot of money, but once you get them, you're like, Again, another game changer. Same thing from Lowrance Structure Scan, XI5 Troller Motor. Everything is a game changer. And I just ordered a lithium 36 volt battery for my troller motor, getting rid of my wet cells. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to take all this apart. And it should be simple as far as I know. I obviously got some here where this, this new piece goes. Take this out. I've got a new rod. I call it rod. It's really a spike. The spike. So if you've never seen the spike taken out before, it's got grooves where the bolts are. This thing is heavy duty. Again, it's some kind of co composite material. But again, when it broke, I lost everything. So the parts that I got, spacer, this is what broke. As you can see, I'm going to end up lowering the motor here a little bit. But this goes, goes right here. So if you look at the part that broke here, look underneath, that's pretty heavy duty. So. I do need to show you from over here. This piece will go right here. The pivot and the pivot. This pivot and that pivot. So that'll go right there. And then, of course, the spike will go up underneath. I have new bolts. New everything for it. A new piece. Laid everything out. Got four, four of each these but these the main bolts they gave you replacements and there's the directions so like I said these go inside of here and then these will go they fit inside so allow it to turn and you have a top and bottom and got my tools so, so everything is nine sixteenths Replacement for these. I don't know if this is under pressure. That's what my concern is. It doesn't feel like it is. And my question to myself is can I just unscrew it or knock it out? No, it's, on, it's coming out fine. 
So, I wonder if that will come out. Again, my question is how much pressure is on them. Let's do the bottom. Take this off. Try not to drop the washer. He sent all new stuff anyway. Might as well go get wrenches for this. Well, let's take this off and then I'll put the new one on and then I'll and then I'll change these little bolts here that actually hold the spike. But again, my question is how much pressure is this? I'm not under any pressure at all. I was afraid that this would move. This block is to help get the parts in there. This block is meant to be twisted to open this up. But that's not under any pressure, at least not yet. I'm pulling it out to so see what happens. I typically wouldn't tap on that, but the um, I have new, new. I've real replaced them and saved the old ones. Because you never want to tap on it unless the thread's up. Okay, it's coming out easily. Drop my washer. Drop my washer. Now, I think I said I gotta spread this. Comes out easily. And you take this block, put it in here and spread, spread. See how easily it comes out? This piece here spreads this to pull this out. Because these set inside of this, like I showed you earlier. So, and you can see the flat part. There is a flat part of these, they go towards the pole. Bunch of grass and stuff in there from my fishing. All right, let's take all these out. I may have to go get a flat screwdriver. But this is the part that broke. It's hard to believe that the stress broke that when it is that thick. But I don't remember ever putting that much torque on the on this piece. So temporarily. And I may have to get a flat screwdriver. My pen up on me. Let me go get a screwdriver. It just pop out. And then there's that other spacer that's in there. <clears throat> that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get out. Let's take these out first. There's the two bottom ones. Let me see my top one. There's that little spacer inside. All right, these are gonna be replaced. I think I'm replacing them, putting down there. They just push out. One. Different method for that. Two. It's two of them. If these things were smashed in any way, they would be hard to get out, you would think. I was going to say if I get a pair of parts, but I do not want this to damage the paint on this. You don't want to mar it up because it's even going to be that much harder to get out. The last thing I want to do is scratch this.
what's coming? I'm trying to keep the channels off to the side. I'm trying not to scratch anything. That's mostly out. Try to do this left-handed. It's coming up way easier. Maybe out enough that I can get a screwdriver underneath it here. A little bit of time. Again, try not to scratch anything. Not a big fan of this type of channel lock, I tell you. All right. Let's see if I got enough to get a hold of this one. Let's see if I got enough to get a hold of this guy. These are going to be replaced. Not enough yet. How about this idea? I may not even need to do that. Switch this over. Put that on there like that. Then use that to go inside up here. the top one. Whenever you do anything you know you always have one. That is a problem child. So you can make a little push push to get that out. So that worked pretty well. All right, everything's out. <coughs> These are all the old pieces. I'll put them all together and obviously save them. Now, put these together. Put these inside. Remember, these have got to be turned down. So the flat part of these are against here. There's actually a groove. These actually fit into this groove right here. You can see that? There's a groove over there. The other one will fit in this groove. So what I may be able to do, of course you need four hands. Stick, ooh, stick these in a groove. Now it's when you need a spreader piece. Spread that apart a little bit and this just slides right in. nuts and bolts. Hopefully that doesn't fall. Alright, put it back the way it was. 
So I've got, again, my nut washer piece. Go back in the hole, slide this up. Gotta go through the first piece first. Looks like it's aligned. That's through. Make, I'm making sure I'm looking at the light, make sure this other this other piece like this is in a proper place, which it is. I can put my finger underneath it here and feel that it is in the right place. So this is correct. These are my new ones, took out the old ones. That popped right in. That side popped right in too. So I put my washer on. Well, you guys, I always like my washers. The shiny side out, you can tell when they're punched. So, let's just start it. Now we're gonna do the bottom. one first I'm gonna try to slide these get my hand out of the way I'll try to slide these here the trick is get them to stay there so they don't fall out they're in the groove take the spreader piece okay what Power pole is pretty damn smart. Drop the one in here. So I'm going to try to spread this. Maybe you can turn it and lock it like this. Just turn this and lock it and let it be wide open. Get the new nut, nut washer and spacer. Spacer again. Maybe I'm to see it. Let this out. And that spacer went right in. The second I let pressure up of it. Again, turn my washer the correct way. Then I like it. the 916th see how shallow that is the nut actually goes inside so you don't have a lot to work with Maybe better off with two wrenches, I'm not sure. See how it goes inside and you don't have much of a bite, especially when this is chamfered back. If you put, let me try to wrench on the side. 
thing you just click in place for a sound bike. What I'm going to do is take the power pole. Checking these pieces here. Are they in line right here? Yes. And I'm looking underneath it here. Same thing here. I know you can't see it very well. But it sounds smooth. Looks like I did everything correctly. Wasn't a spec as far as torque. Again, they're aircraft. I'll probably feel it when it's when it's right. I'll probably feel it when it's right. Be sure to take this wrench and push it hard because you have very, very little to grab onto this. Understand they do it like a streamline. See, these stick out a little bit further, these other ones. The older ones, they seem to stick out a little bit further. I got more of a grip. I don't know if these bolts, or these nuts, I don't know if these nuts are a little bit thinner. I don't think so. But you got to think, anything that sticks out, when you're in grass and stuff like that, it's going to, it's going to grab it. I will keep an eye on this the first bunch of times I'm out. Right. I'll try it again. Just for the other small bolts. I'm get wrenches to take these out. These are smaller. I don't know if it's half inch or it's like seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths for these guys. Save your workers. These were not um, replaced. These replaced. Them. Screw. Possibly. We don't know if that other part is threaded or not. I'll we'll find out in a second. No, it is not threaded. So it's just a little snug. So maybe from the torque, it could have contorted this a little bit. Something I did notice that this side has a clear washer on it, a clear spacer. To the other side, kind of look with my good eyes. You think if it's on one, it would be on the other. Now, so they're only on the, the bolt side, the head of the bolt. <clears throat> so, let's see how to put this bad boy up in there. Let's 
see how to put this up in there. You can see the bolt slips, slots for the bolt. So they just simply go up. Goes this way first off. Let me set this stuff down. And maybe if it's too hard. I have to put the let's see, put the power pole down and force it up in there. <clears throat> let's try a gentle nudge. to go. Let's see if I can persuade it up with a rubber hammer. Let me go up a little bit more. Go up a little bit more. Make sure everything's aligned. See, that may be good. Looks like the bolt holes are clear. Again, everything entered from this side. So I'm going to do it exactly the way I took it out. But I still would think that these washers would be on all four. Silver side out. I call it silver side, it's the punch side. Seven sixteenths. ever tighten and crack anything. As long as you get the aircraft, they said aircraft I thought were only one time use. But whatever, it's on there now. Let's raise it up. Let's raise it up. That's good to me. Double check everything always. There is not much grip for that wrench to grip that. I know I just checked them, but usually what happens you over tighten go like crap. Now one last thing I gotta do is somehow when I lost it, when I broke the thing up, I lost that. When I asked her for them, she, she sent me two of them. Very simple. They just, the holes go in here. Second thing, let's see how easily they slide in the hole. Sometimes you gotta lube them up. Oh, shoot, that's the, the 
I would like to take it off. I'd like to take an end of a wrench and right where right where the pins are, put your wrench right there. So you're pushing the round part, pushing that pin in. Push them in. Because obviously they're not gonna stay in if they don't expand on the other side. I guess the next thing I can do is pull on it. But for some reason when my top piece broke, don't ask me why, when that broke, this was gone. How one related to the other, I do not know. That's, that seems to be in there fine to me. So, trying to film and all this stuff took a little bit longer, but it shouldn't. If it's a half an hour job, that's a lot. What that's for, it's a cradle for this. So it holds it in place. Not holds it in place, it keeps it from, from um, wobbling or making noise. It pulls in there nice and tight. Let's go all the way down. Looks like it's fixed. Probably should keep keep this with me when I'm wiping the boat down to get this crap out of there. But let's look. Let's look for any fractures or anything in here, any kind of stress crack, any kind of anything. I don't see anything here. It looks well, looks good here. Get around the other side. See anything? Oh, it looks fine. 